A quenya vene, a quenya vene, a quenya vene, o quenya vem. Our elders have told us to take care of the land and, and the water because it's it's life. A quenya vene, a quenya vene, a quenya vem. Colorado River Indian Tribes is very unique in that it has four tribes the Mojave, the Chemuevi, the Hopis, and the Navajos. We have about 300,000 acres on the California side and the Arizona side. The Colorado River splits the uh, reservation. It runs through our reservation and it also runs through each tribal member. My name is Amelia Flores. I am a councilwoman for the Colorado River Indian Tribes in Parker, Arizona. My name is Dennis Patch. I'm chairman of the uh, Colorado River Indian Tribes. The Crit Nation operates several different drinking water systems. These are primarily well-based groundwater systems. The regional wastewater system is a joint venture between the Crit Nation and the town of Parker. I'm Brian Bennon. I'm the director of the Tribal Water Department at the Intertribal Council of Arizona. I feel a great sense of pride to see uh, tribal members come up and uh, learn the system, learn how to treat water and how to become an operator. My name is Curtis Martin II. I'm the enterprise manager for Brigade Bay Developments for the Colorado River Indian Tribes. Water and wastewater operators have a very complex job. The Rural Community Development Grant Program, or RCD block grants, is really what helped create the ITCA Operator Certification Program and the Technical Assistance and Training Program. Actually, OSHA, this is a requirement. Having that sustained source of funding, specifically to be community-based and for water and wastewater utilities, there isn't anything else like it. ITC has helped us start our water system and they still uh, do training for us and it's been important to us because we're able to establish a whole water system on the reservation. This, this water is something special to us, we got to take care of it. I can tell you for certain that without the RCD grant funds there would not be a tribal training and certification program that is uniquely meeting the tribe's needs for the sustained career development we're training our people, our future generations, so that they then can carry on the stewardship for, for, the, for the tribes, for the people, and for the land. ITCA opens that door for the tribal members to come back and, and have that knowledge to how to run their system. I think that always brings pride that you can handle it yourself. It, it lies in, in the, our sovereignty that we can take care of ourselves, we can take care of our people, that is the importance of our tribal members running our water department. We're moving forward. We're not idly sitting by. We're actually taking control of what's rightfully ours. The water that comes from that earth to feed our crops, to feed the air, and to feed us. Water is our lifeblood. The Rural Community Development Program is one of six programs within the Office of Community Services that is dedicated to reducing the causes and consequences of poverty, increasing opportunity and the economic security of individuals and families, and revitalizing communities. The Office of Community Services is located within the Administration for Children and Families within the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. RCD serves very small communities in sparsely populated rural areas made up predominantly of residents with low income who lack safe water and wastewater and often even indoor plumbing. For over 50 years, RCD has been filling gaps in ensuring safe water and wastewater services that are not addressed by other federal programs. Learn more at acf.hhs.gov slash OCS. Produced in 2019 by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services.